time is it? It's bonus time. Bonus, 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 bonus. It is time for the hip trip lockup. Let's take a look at what it looks like. All right, let's take a look at what it looks like. Take a look at what it looks like. Out of nowhere for the bonus move. Ho! Huh. That's it. Hua. Makes you feel pretty good about yourself. Uh, I would say that's the best way to start your day. Let's be honest here. All right, so it's a hip trip because I take my hip and unexpectedly trip my follow, and then I zip her around and I lock her up under my left side. I love being caught unexpectedly. So the first thing we want to practice is getting our follow tripped. All right. So here we are in closed position. Leaders, I'm going to get in an awkward position. Please do. I'm flat with Joe, but now I take my right foot, I step in front, and then I stick my hip back into Joe's right hip. What would this look like if I wasn't there? I don't know, Joe, because I'm going to keep you right next to me. Because <laughs> I feel that I need you there. See the relative position. There it is. Now from here, I want the leaders just to practice lifting their follow. <laughs> See, I'm using my hip to do the lift. This is a great way to get a free drink at a bar, by the way. <laughs> hey, if I hip trip you, will you buy me a drink? Oh, God. Yes, of course. Joe was using her abs there. That's kind of important. Yes, if I had, my legs would not have come up. They would have just kind of slouched yeah. down as I had collapsed. So that's another moment where I actually flex my frame, which tells Joe something's going to happen. You better flex just in case you get hip tripped unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. So from this position now, we're going to lift, and we're just going to zip our follow in front of our body. Oh, and I'm landing. I didn't know that part. So we just bring them right in front. So you just want to get comfortable. I'll show it one bring, more time. Let's see. Bring them right in front and have them land in front of you, the important part of that statement. <laughs> Unexpectedly landing in front of you. So I keep my arms nice and firm. They're flexed the whole time to support my follow's body weight. Yes, which is not a whole lot, mind you. I can barely even feel it. Oh, it's fabulous. Then you want to use momentum. If you can get enough momentum, leaders, you want to get your follow all the way up to your left leg. All right, so, so follows, as this happens, I need to be able to maintain my core, and I want to try to keep my feet tucked underneath me just a little bit so that when I hit my final position, I can then do something flourishy and fluttery and fabulous with my legs. So the static way to practice this is follows. You're going to keep your feet together and bend your knees a little bit. Leaders, you're going to come down and grab their leg and grab their underside. You're going to pick up their entire body. Then you're going to put them onto your left leg. And you're going to see what it's like to get them up under your left leg wow. and support them. <laughs> These are marriage rituals. <laughs> there we go. Now I really got Joe up there for the, for the lockup. Wow, that was super exciting. And I can actually put my hands out, the whole shebang. <laughs> see, Joe doesn't have to do much about it. Oh my God, that was so wildly exciting. No, I think don't do I'm anything. Blushing. Just wait there. <laughs> Just wait there. So, the less uncomfortable way to get into the same thing is follows you're now going to jump into that position. So, um, leaders, please stand with your feet about uh, shoulder width apart. And then from here, I'm going to jump up and kind of throw myself back. So, uh, leaders, I need you to offer up some legs so I have something to, to stand on. Leaders, you can see my squatted position. Squatting and down. So, from this position, I bring Joe as high as I can in my arm capture her, and then I squat, providing a nice shelf for Joe to rest upon. That's right. And um, where that shelf is connecting with me is about here. So it's right between um, cheekage and, like, back. So I would say the lower back. Cheekage and back. Then you use momentum, and that's going to make it a lot easier. But it's worthwhile doing those static ones just so you get a, an idea of where, you, where you're going. All right. So here we are with momentum. Leaders, you really got to use your base here. Because when your, your follow's body weight goes in front of you, it's easy to get pulled forward. So as I zip my follow in front of me, I'm actually moving in opposition to that. And then I move towards my follow. So you have to counterbalance your own body it's, against your partner. It's kind of a matrix moment that Kevin has without me being there. And then I finally make it. Lock it up. <laughs> All right. So now using momentum, I step in front. Whoosh. Do, and we've landed. Now, to do the exit, I'm just going to lift straight up and provide that extra lift, which gives Joe time to tuck her legs underneath her 
and then set them upon the floor. Follows the one last thing I'd like to note is that again I am pulling on Kevin so I'm trying to pull straight down through, uh, through his bone structure so that I can stay balanced. With my left arm I'm pulling straight down through his shoulder and then when I'm connected through my front hand I'm going to also try to push down so that I am able to help maintain a balance in my body and then Kevin can also control me a little bit better. So you notice we did do a hand change. This is our standard hand hold that we've been teaching but now <coughs> I move my thumb and roll underneath and here's our Thumb up position for the leaders, follows fingers, just drop on top. We have a nice, we don't squeeze too hard, it's just firm and stabilizing. Excellent. So now we're going to show a little bit of dancing. You have your basic, yay. And then leaders, what you want to do is kind of almost sneak attack your follow, right? You step forward on that front foot, and then hip around, and there's your sneak attack. Ta-da! Ta